I went to law school thinking I wanted to be an environmental lawyer and then realized that even environmental lawyers sit at a desk all day. <laughs> I was working in, in music, that's how I ended up here in Nashville, as do like 95% of the people here. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably fall into the, the category of, I uh, hate my job, I want to do something fun. <laughs> We opened Jackalope, we were first brewery to open in eight years. And the brew scene was a lot different, I think for one, it was a little bit of a, a, a beer desert, um, with the exception of, of great breweries like Yazoo and Blackstone, who were kind of paving the way locally. Nashville had, it had all the makings of an amazing craft beer city, it just didn't have that much beer. I mean, it was like news when we opened. The day that we opened, there's, you know, like a huge line when we open the door and then you look down and you're like, I don't know how to use a cash register. <laughs> it works so hard on the beer, I don't even know how to do this. Now, since we opened, I think like 18 more breweries have opened in middle Tennessee. So we were really just on the front end of the wave. Before law school, I had a science background. In college, I studied monkeys. I spent most of my time in Puerto Rico studying uh, racist macaque that lived on an island off the coast. And so for a while I was like, I'm going to be a monkey researcher. And then I was like, no. And then kind of flipped, flipped the script a little bit and was like, I'm not going to run around this island anymore. I'm going to be a lawyer and sit at a desk. And then I was like, nope. <laughs> In a weird way, brewing beer is a good balance of those two things where you're moving around a lot, but you're still around people. <laughs> It's part art lawyer. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> you know, for the first three years, uh, I don't think there was a beer that left here that I didn't actually make myself. I'd been uh, working immediately beforehand in, in a position as a financial advisor where I didn't really feel like I was actually, you know, creating anything. Um, and so just kind of the idea of, of being able to make something and putting yourself out there to the world. Um, you know, to be critiqued and, and, and enjoyed, um, you know, was really important to me. We need to get to F9. Basically, I googled all the breweries in Nashville, and back then in 2011, uh, there was only there was only a handful, and I called Jackalope, and it just kept ringing and ringing. Bailey just finally picked up the phone, and, and uh, we started and had a, had a conversation just about brewing. She uh, invited me in. We talked a little more, and I ended up washing kegs for for free for six months. Ah, that's my favorite part right there. Just, whew, yeah. I don't worry about having like a linear path. I couldn't imagine spending your like, most of your waking hours doing something you didn't really like. <laughs>